Hi, I'm Steffi Bergmans and today I'm going to show you how to create a laceration on the forehead using special plastic. Hope you enjoy the video. First, what we're going to use to create this laceration is the contour pencil. What I'm drawing on now is kind of the inside of the wound, so the liquid plastic will be built up around that wound here. Next up, we're going to take the special plastic. So we're just going to take a little bit and warm it up in my fingers a little bit, just make it slightly more softer. And then I'm just firmly pressing it down onto the skin and we're going to blend in. So we're going to bring that down and then we're just going to work around the wound. So you can choose as well if you want to press it down with your fingers or just with the metal spatula and we're going to press outwards so we kind of have a nice and gradual build up. We're going to refine that a little bit more afterwards. Most importantly for me, it's not really the inside of the wound, it's actually the surrounding hair. It's where the skin meets the product. It doesn't matter how good you've painted the inside of the wound or how well you painted it, if the edge is not done properly, it will give away that it's special effects. What you don't want to have is creating like this massive mountain of product going up. It needs to be gradually going down, like, like kind of like a slope. Now here I see where I've got that little mountain. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press that down a little bit more so it flattens it nicely. And here I'm going to make the laceration a little bit bigger. Same thing here as well. Kind of want to have that a bit open. If you look closely at the skin, we've got all of these fine lines, the pores. You can see the fine lines going across of the forehead. So with that simple sponge, I'm kind of going over that special plastic. And we're going to do that all over the piece, just working that outwards. This way it just looks much more believable if there is a texture on there. Now even with wrinkles here, I'm just marking that a little bit with my sculpting tool. We're going to apply a little bit of transparent jelly. It kind of smooths it out a little bit. So just a tiny amount on my finger here. And I'm kind of pressing it into the skin. And then it's ready for the next step where we're going to apply a bit of liquid latex on the top of it. It's more kind of sealing that special plastic a little bit and it does create like a nice texture as well. So it just gives a little bit more of like a gradual flow to it. So liquid latex is always white when you apply it and it will look clear when it's ready to go on to the next step. Once the latex has cured, it still leaves behind this very massive shine that we want to get rid of. So just a little bit of translucent powder in TL1. So we just want to get rid of the shine and just makes it blending more into the skin. And now we are ready for paint. So I'm going to use a tiny bit of 072. We're going to add a little bit of forensics green in there and a tiny bit of 521. Now we've got the base color here and I'm going to add in a tiny amount of Maker Blend. It will kind of dilute the super color a little bit and I'm just slowly dabbing a bit of that color in there. Don't want to overload the piece with paint. I'm just blending that a little bit more into the skin. Now the base color is all right. I still feel like I've got like this halo of two orangey color for him. So we're gonna slightly neutralize that a little bit. So I'll be using D32 and same thing. We're just diluting that a little bit with the makeup blend. I'm just applying that on top of it. It's just, I wanna have like a little splatter of that color on there that will help with giving it more of a natural skin color. I still find it slightly in some areas a little bit too orange. So I'm just using blue 10 here. It's just for me to neutralize that orangey shine a little bit. So we're gonna use the Makeup Blend to really dilute it. So I keep dabbing until there's hardly anything left on my sponge. 
and just very subtle, just applying that on the areas where I personally think are just a little bit too orange. So for the inside of the wound, we're going to use 081 and 085. And I'm just going to use a nice fine brush for this. And we're going to apply the lighter color 081 more into the sides of the piece. And then we're going to use the 085 more in the center of the wound. That way we're going to create a little bit of depth. It kind of draws your attention more to the inside. Now, once you've done that, we are ready for some blood. I prefer to start with drying blood. It's one of my favorite bloods of Cryolan. It's an alcohol based. It just looks so realistic. Then kind of apply it on the inside everywhere. We have to think about the gravity. So this is the lowest point of that area. So we're gonna have more blood dripping down this way. You see as well, it's um, applying a little bit and then I kind of, with my finger, just blend it a little bit. It just gives you that nice mark of dried up blood. So it means that the injury happened, we've got the blood flowing down, but some of the blood is kind of dried up on top of the skin. Then now we're gonna apply a little bit of blood inside. Looking down, we can uh, let the blood do the work for us. And then just with that excess, with the tissue. Now put a little bit of that blood on my fingers here, touching it, and that leaves a little bit of a mark behind. So once we've done the blood, that is the final step. If you have any questions at all about any of the products, you can let us know in the comments below and if you could like and subscribe.